That might be what it is. But it's a vanilla feature, though. That's what I don't understand, though. Like, if it was, like, Oblivion XP allowed it to be uncapped, that's a different story, though. Like, you could just go from, like, uh... Like, any trainer can teach you up to 100 kind of thing. That's a different story. But these are masters, right? They're, they give you that opportunity. Yeah. The only difference is that you only get, like, five training points per level, though. That was the only negative part about it. That's baseball. Game of the Yay, I'm getting so much experience. Although, maybe we should put one of our bodyguards to bodyguard uh, Martin. That might be a very smart move. Is this rewards? Yeah, it's just rewards. Alright. Let's go. Your magic has no effect on me. Although, something that I do want to make is I want to make a custom race that's specifically for uh, Drathus. But I know for a fact that if I were to end up doing that, I'm going to end up breaking the game. In some way, because it's not like it's not a race that the game would recognize but i think the only part in the game that it would end up breaking though is the tutorial is that everything? yeah okay so we're gonna have to go speak to farwell which i intentionally avoided for this very reason so same thing with bird you can do it this way uh the only difference between Bird and Farwell is that you can tell Bird to wait. Farwell, you cannot. Farwell will just tell you, though, like, oh, yeah, but, like, we're just gonna keep following you, regardless of what's gonna happen. Ah! That was an enemy. Although it is Tess. Eh. Might as well be an enemy. Alright. Where did you come from? Alright. Might be able to make it to the other side. With minimal damage. Yeah, so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go into caves and such. It's about time someone got here. What took you so long? That's a thorn. We are knights sworn to uphold the laws of Chadenhall. We fear no being, and we strike fast and true as lightning. Many wish to join our ranks, as we are of the highest echelon. Only a select few may join the finest force ever to grace the lands of Cyrodiil. But they're Until all dead. now, we numbered only seven, but attacked like a regiment. Our enemies quake at our approach and falter at our charge. Huzzah! Huzzah, indeed. You're annoying. Anyway, Oblivion Gate. I set out with the rest of the knights to dispatch this blemish on the face of our fine world. When we arrived, we were overwhelmed. I myself was able to kill perhaps two score of them, but they just kept coming. Only Bremen and I remain alive. However, with you here now, we can take the sigil stone from that citadel and complete our quest for the good of all Chadenhall. Huzzah! Huzzah indeed. Let's get you out of here. Are you mad? A Knight of the Thorn never returns home until the mission is done. It's our way. Now, in my father's name as Count Indoris of Chadenhall, I order you to lead me to that sigil stone. I suggest we use the Raymond Sweep formation. You'll assault and we'll guard the rear flank. Onward and upward! Huzzah! The sigil stone for this Oblivion Gate is the key. As soon as we have it, we shall rid Chadenhall of its existence. 
To be honest. The path is yours. Lead on. Yeah, this is how this opens, kind of thing, though. To be honest, if this was actually how Farwell would interact with Drathus, this is what would happen. As soon as he says, like, as, like, as he said, as he said, though, like, uh, like, by the power, like, like, of my father, though, I order you to do this, there would be a cut on his cheek right there and says, I answer to no one. <laughs> like, your, your, like, your father has no power over me. Just a little cut, that's it. Like, that's literally all that would happen, though, is he would just give him a little cut. You get the effect, and you get the effect as well. Just in case somehow one enemy evaded my, my wrath. You never know. I think the first time I played Oblivion, I think Brennan was the one that survived. I think Farwell died, but that's because like I was shooting. I think I was, I was, what was I shooting. I think I was shooting like some magic, and he ran in front of it and he died. And Brennan's like, "What were you doing? You killed him!" I'm like, "I didn't intentionally kill him. I could if I wanted to." I'm quite curious what happens if you use the instant kill dagger on them because it does no physical damage but it does a magic damage the magic is script damage which i don't know if it'll even detect that and by mat script damage i mean like instant kills regardless all right you bozos here is the sigil stone where'd they go the end of the road for this gate. Alright. Alright. We made it! Uh, I mean, <laughs> victory is ours once again. Huzzah! Huzzah, indeed. You've done well. I wouldn't have expected such bravery from someone who isn't a Knight of the Thorn. Okay. Now that this battle between good and evil has been won, and the day is ours, you should go speak with my father. He will reward you greatly for escorting me home and closing the Oblivion Gate. Huzzah. Since you have led us to victory, I am hereby giving you the honorary title of a Knight of the Thorn. Your name shall be revered and your deeds placed into song to be performed by the greatest bards for generations to come. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay. I'm done with that. All right. Make sure you address it. Yeah, so the only thing that happens is that, like, if you actually do that, you can actually go in this place for free. That's it. I love their banners, though. The banners are freaking amazing. Looking. That's beside the point. That's all that's interesting about it. All right. Let's go. Hi, guard. Hey! There's a charge in the air. Uh, yes, you want to feel it? It's like, you mean see it, right? Nope, feel it. I know what I said. Cast a spell on him. He's like, ah! Assault! Assault! It's like, yeah. He felt it. Well met. Yeah, rune keeps coming back. I don't know what's going on here. That has never happened. Any of the times I was finished harder than that. We must have did something weird. Because I'd never had that problem before. Does it do anything, the fact that he keeps returning? Not really. It's more funnier. I'm pleased to finally meet the savior of Chadenhall. I'm also overjoyed that you saved my son's life. Yeah. I realize he's trying at times, and he speaks before he thinks. But he's still my son, and I adore him greatly. That's I'm cool. sure he was difficult to travel with, and I respect your patience. Most would have given him up for dead, rather than deal with his ego. Anyway, I digress. 
I'm sure you wish to hear of your reward. I'm in possession of two fine weapons. They're both heirlooms of the Indaris family, held in the castle for several generations. Cool. I'd take great pleasure in bestowing one of them upon you. Please, choose the Thornblade or the Staff of Indaris. Uh, we'll be getting both, but I particularly love the Thornblade. The Thornblade it is. Again, I thank you on behalf of all the citizens of Chadenhall, and I especially thank you as an elated father. Yay. Farewell, and may RK guide you. Okay. Farewell. All right. Uh, I'll show you what the thorn blade does. It's it's a not bad weapon. Disintegrate armor, hundred twenty points. Really nice. I wish it was armor and weapon, even if it was just like reduced uh, magnitude kind of thing. So like instead of hundred twenty, it was like fifty, but it did both. That'd be awesome. But it's not really particularly like that. Like it's not really that much needed. So I'll show you what the staff of Indaris does. I think the one I'll be able to obtain here is like the highest level, I think. I think I only put the highest level. I might have grabbed all of them. Actually, what am I? Oh, okay. Well, that's not supposed to happen, by the way. Okay, so that is not supposed to happen. But now I know that there is actually a weird bug with that. That's a weird bug. I'll definitely have to fix that. I could have just did this. Uh, it's under vanilla weapon. No, it's a staff. That's right. It's a staff. I don't have staffs. All right, we're going to see that quest pop up again. We have that saved because we're not supposed to see that just yet. Uh, it's under unique. It's under unique. Staff of Vendars, yeah. So damage, strength, 10 points on target, and shock damage. Not too bad. Alright, so we're going to load because we're not supposed to have that quest pop up. I wonder if it's because of something that's interesting about the interior. Because it shouldn't do that. Anyway. Might have to duplicate the interior or something like that see if that might fix it. Anyway, uh, which is the next one? It's not Bruma, it's Coral. Yeah, Coral. The OG of the Hatred Soul equipment. I was really hoping for the game to crash at some point. Apparently, I'm not getting my wit. You've got a real bounce to your step. Yes, you're quite the acrobat. Shut up! Alright. Hello. It is quite nice to see you again. I hope you are faring well. Uh, yes, aid for Bruma. While I understand Bruma's need, Coral's own defense must come first. I cannot spare any soldiers as long as Coral remains under threat from the Oblivion Gate outside our walls. Farewell. So before I get hundreds of comments saying like, do you actually have to talk to the counts or countesses? No, you don't. You can just do the gate straight up and then it'll tell you, wow, you did the gate. Okay, uh, here's the guards. I'm doing it because, eh. It's fun reminiscent. I mean, if it crashes right before I talk to the Countess or Count kind of thing, I'll, I'll just skip it. I don't think there's any different dialogue, uh, like they say, if you don't talk to them and just go straight to the game. So all the YouTube videos about the Hatred Soul stuff like that, they just use the Coral Gate because Coral has this gate fixed. Which means that no matter if you do, like, no matter if you go to Coral at level 1 or level 20 or level 30 million kind of thing, this is always going to be the only gate you're going to have. And this is how you would normally get the Hatred's Heart and Hatred's Soul kind of thing.
Ending halls. We're doing this pretty fast. All right. What you? Bye. Right past you. Going way too fast for your traps, man. Yeah, I wonder if all of the skills are hard capped at 75 for us to be able to train up. Which is weird. Oh, I thought Cat's armor broke again. I was like, no, Cat, why do you keep breaking your armor? Wow, this was actually a really big skip now. It was a really good skip. <gasps> See what I mean? We're so close to the door. That just makes it like so much more interesting. And we could literally just almost like beat the entire. Like, we could literally go to the next cell kind of thing. I want to reach the door. I don't necessarily want to enter the door. Because I know for a fact that that might just crash the game. As you're entering an interior, but it's a closed oblivion gate. So I was like, you could probably break your character by doing that. But eh, it's 